Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, search advocate at Google. And I'm Aurora Morales from the trust and safety team. What? How did you get here? It's a security breach. Want to check my ID? In a bit. At the moment, I could do with some help explaining the security issues report in Search Console that alerts webmasters about malicious behavior on their websites. And since your team protects Google users, including Google Search, would you be up for that? Por supuesto. The Search Console security issues report shows warnings when Google finds that your site might have been hacked or used in ways that could potentially harm a visitor or their device. For example, a hacker might inject malicious code in your pages to redirect your users to another site or to automatically create pages with nonsensical sentences filled with keywords on your site. These are examples of website hacking. An attacker might also trick users into doing something dangerous, such as revealing confidential information or downloading malicious software. That is called social engineering. When a site has been compromised to manipulate search rankings, it can be labeled as this site may be hacked to warn users in search results. When a site has been compromised to harm users, browsers with Google Safe Browsing technology enabled may display interstitial warning pages or alerts when files are downloaded. For example, to warn users when they are about to access malicious websites. Google Safe Browsing also labels results in search, such as this site may harm your computer. In the next video, I'll go through some of the most common security issues that Google sees on websites, so make sure you don't miss it. To learn more about the subject, you can also check the links in the description. Now, Daniel will show you how to find the affected pages on your website and how to use Search Console to fix them. When Google detects a security issue on a website, Search Console verified site owners will receive an email alerting them about this issue with a link to more information on how to solve it. Read your emails carefully. It's important that you see these alerts as soon as possible. Even if you miss an email, you can always log into Search Console to check if you have any issues. In the overview page, you'll already be notified if you have security issues on your site through a banner at the top of the page. Clicking the alert will lead you to the security issues report, where you'll find the list of all security issues related to your website. Google does its best to check sites for the most common security issues, but you should still keep your eyes open. You can also navigate to the Messages panel and choose the Security Issues category to see all related messages that have been sent to your website in the past. This can give you context on your website history, especially if you're new to a company or took over an existing website. To fix a security issue on your site and let Google know, we recommend the following steps. Expand the Security Issue Description panel to learn more about the issue and follow the Learn More link for detailed information and steps to fix it. After you read about it, decide whether you think this is something you can fix. If not, find someone on your team or externally that has web development experience or visit the Webmaster Help Forum. Use the sample of affected pages provided in the Details section to troubleshoot and fix your issue. You might have a security issue with no example URLs. This doesn't mean that no pages are affected, only that we couldn't generate samples for that specific case. Fix the issue throughout your entire website. Fixing it on just some pages will not solve the problem, so make sure you leave no pages behind. If the report lists multiple security issues, fix all of them. When all issues listed in the report are fixed in all pages, select Request Review in the Security Issues Report and describe your fixes in your review request. A good request does three things. It explains the exact issue on your website. It describes the steps you've taken to fix the issue. And it documents the outcome of your efforts. Check out John's latest video on web spam manual actions and reconsideration requests for more on that. Most reviews take a few days, but some can take up to a week or two. You'll get a review confirmation message when you submit your request, 
to inform you that the review is in progress. You'll also get a message when the review is completed. There is no need to submit another review request before you get a final decision on your outstanding request. If you can't see hacked content on the URLs provided in Search Console, this might be an example of cloaking. Cloaking makes cleaning a website more difficult because it shows different content to users than it does to search engines. For example, a page on your site may not have visible hacked content to you. This might lead you to believe that there is no hacked content and that Search Console is sending you wrong messages. However, a search engine like Google accessing the same page might be served hidden spammy text and links. Check the links in the description to learn more about cloaking. In this video, we shared an overview of security issues and the process you need to follow to fix them on Search Console. In the next video, Aurora will go deeper into different types of security issues Search Console reports on. Subscribe to the Webmasters YouTube channel for more on security and Search Console in general. Stay tuned. So where's your ID? I must have put it somewhere. Mm -hmm.